That's what she said. Well, no, that's what she said to someone else. No one's ever said that to me before. There has to be more files than this. Yeah, most of the files are stored off-site, so when the officers are in the middle of a file, they can just store them here rather than truck them back and forth. Uh, you have to wear gloves in this room. One of the perks of my job. Right. See, we need to maintain something called chain of custody. That means you can't go contaminating evidence with your foreign DNA. Oh, uh, I brought a rubber. Excuse me? A band. Uh, a rubber band. See? To, to, you know, to tie your, your hair back. Do you mind? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. This is what you're looking for? Uh-huh. been here a week, but I thought the cleaner would have full access to the police station. No, you have to have like detective level clearance to enter this room. You're the librarian and you have access. I'm, I'm not a librarian, I'm the senior records manager. Who do you manage? The records. I also have a master's degree. In what? Uh, library science. That's a science? Well, you know, I, I could be a detective, but uh, you know, I have asthma, so I'm not provided with the necessary accommodations to perform the uh, typical sports growing up and, you know, I'm not that good at physical activity. Well, I'm sure there's many physical activities that you're good at. So, how many girls have you brought here? Just you. I could get fired for bringing anyone back here and I like my job. I get to look at all the evidence, examine all the case files, and, you know, sometimes I even try to solve the cases. I won't get you fired. Okay, well, uh, here's the room, so maybe we should get going. No. No one comes back here. You can't just show up all the goods and not let her touch. That's what she... Never mind. Um, well, I, I guess, I guess we could look at a, a few files. Awesome. Oh, you see this one here? Check this out. Desky and Hamilton go every Tuesday down to the mall to bust this guy selling these pirated DVDs just so we have all the new releases. You know, the officers, they use it as their own video store. They, they uh, come in and they take what they want and return them when they're done. Michael, I was kind of hoping you'd show me some of the crazy bloody cases. You want bloody? Think I'm weird? No, that's hot. Uh, not. No, that's not weird. I, I, I go through them all the time. Well, this city might not be that big, but this department here has investigated some of the most heinous crimes you can imagine. Don't get anything on them. all the case files and examined all the evidence.
it's trash. Hey, beautiful. <sighs> Look, Wayne, I, I really don't have time for this right now. This is really important. What? <sighs> well, I put you to work late. Picked up a side road six for the drive home. I'm making some serious money with overtime this week. <sighs> Look, Wayne, I really don't. Mm. Anyway, so taking the back roads home, you know, avoid the cops, and suddenly I like see this pair of headlights coming up from behind me. Yeah, I pull up in the lover's lane, wait till the car passes just in case it's like five oh. Wow. Drinking and driving. <laughs> what a great story. It was your dad, and he had some chick with him. What? Last time we texted, you asked me to, you know, keep an eye out on him, so I followed him home, and uh, the two of them went inside. She, um, she must be a designer for the house. She uh, looked like a hooker. <laughs> Not that uh, I know what a hooker looks like. What are they doing? Let's just say the light went on in the bedroom upstairs. Okay. Um, Jesus Christ, I knew it. Okay, just, just, just stay there and um, I'm, I'm on my way, okay? I, I can get there in about an hour. Maybe we should just, you know, go grab a drink. I got some broad shoulders you can cry on. Stay there, okay? I'm on my way. Call asshole. Wow. You do have my number. I just assumed I didn't make the cut on your speed dial. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you had one of those new phones that only receives calls but can't dial out. I'm hanging up. Listen, fucktard. It is important. What? Do you think Dad is having an affair? No. Okay, think about it, okay? Ever since he inherited Grandma's house, he spends all week out there and only comes to see Mom on the weekends. He's three hours away. I mean, she's three hours away, and he's out there all week doing whatever the hell he wants, and she would never know the difference. He's renovating it so they can move there when she retires. Then how come he never answers his phone during the week, huh? I don't know. He's too cheap to pay the roaming fees. God, what's wrong with you? Okay, if he is fucking around, we need to find out before Mom does. You're on crack. That's it, I'm hanging up. See you at Christmas. Asshole! God damn it! That was fast. And they call me Quick Draw. the girl. I guess she's still inside. This better not be some bullshit story just to get me down here. No, no. I swear on my nuts. All right? Your dad took the hooker, I mean, lady friend, into, into the house and then he just left on his own. Why? I don't know. Maybe at his age, take some time to get her up before going back for seconds. Or, or maybe... You know, she's a, a prostitute part-time, who's also a, an interior designer who specializes in old farmhouses. I'm going to find out. Alright, I'll come with. No! Just go home, okay? And don't tell anyone about this. If this gets back to my mom, it's going to destroy her. Look, 
I think that we should just no. go home. No, just, just please, go home. And um, I'll call you later in the week. hell is going on in here? Don't pretend you're asleep. I want to know what the hell you're doing with my father. What the hell? What are you? Are you some kind of dominatrix or something? Anybody, just let me go. What? I swear I'll never tell anyone you gotta let me go. Are you trying to blackmail my father or something? That man is your father? Okay, if this is some sex game, I don't want to be a part of it, okay? <laughs> so you can just drop the act. This is no game, alright? You gotta get me out of here. When my dad gets home, he's gonna have to explain this shit. No, listen. He told me he was gonna kill me! He had a knife! Oh, bullshit! Please! Oh my god. He took pictures. The picture. Look at the pictures, you'll see what he did. I don't want to see pictures of what you two were doing. He set the camera to snap a bunch of photos while he ran a knife up and down my body. It's empty. <laughs> he went into the hallway a few times, maybe saving the pictures.
Well, then get me out of here. We will make it downstairs in time. Well, then stop fucking talking. He doesn't know I'm here. Cell phone is in my purse downstairs. Oh shit. Okay, once he comes up into the room, I'll go down and I'm going to call the police. They can't do nothing for me if I'm dead! I'm gonna take you down to the basement. What? Oh. The photos. The other women, they were all in the basement. I'll call the cops. And then I'll knock on the door. He's gonna think I came for a visit. Okay, I'll distract him until the cops get here. Listen to me, you stupid bitch! I won't leave you. This is some of my best work. Can't take all the credit though. This time I finally got something to work with. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Do this the easy way or the hard way. <laughs> Looks like it's gonna be the easy way.
going to have to leave together. Break a window or something. Can you hear me? I'll get you out of here, okay? I'll get you out of here. It's hot in here, ain't it? Well, God damn. You are beautiful. I am gonna remember every inch of you. close-up. I just... <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's not going to be much of a close-up without a camera, is it? <laughs> you stay put, gorgeous. I'll be back. You just hold that pose. Yeah, that's it. But, uh, save some of it for the camera. the dead folky, okay? Once I go upstairs, I'm gonna call the cops, okay? right now if I didn't show up. I don't have a choice.
I'm not getting caught for you. How cool is that? Did they kill her? Holy shit. The prostitute got away, and by the time the cops got there, the girl was barely alive. The father had killed himself, and the son was long gone. So they caught the son a week later, and he's he's trying to blame everything on the father, you know. And the killer, he's wearing a mask and all the photos, so it's not really clear who actually killed the girls. How many did they kill? And the crawl space it was, it was full of skeletons, and most of them were from the cemetery across the street, but uh, at least ten of them were killed in the last three years. Now, I'm sorry if these are too gruesome for you, but you know, no, since no. you wanted bloody, so I... They're awesome. I thought girls like you only existed in cyberspace. What? Well, I mean, I, I've chatted online with you know, girls who are into true crime, and most of them are probably guys, but... And you're the first girl that doesn't think I'm weird for being into all this stuff. No. No, it's so interesting. You see what people are capable of. That savage streak that allowed our species to survive. I know. It's, it's amazing when they're, you know, when they're serial killers like that. It's like they're the rock stars or, or cult heroes or something. Okay, um, you really have to go. Now you're really going to think I'm weird. Oh, you can so be yourself around me. I promise you. The photos were cool and all, but I've always wanted to see a video of someone dying. Watch them breathe their last breath. That's too crazy? No, believe it or not, I actually have t two cases just like that. You ever hear of a show called Rural Myths? No. Well, perhaps if they chose a better subject for the pilot episode, you might have. This. So these four friends decided to do this show investigating the different myths and uh, the detectives here, they got me to take the footage and splice it all together so they could see different perspectives from each camera. Check this out. Alright Ferg, whenever you're ready. Okay. I'm just going to put my keys in the back. Okay. So we've got just some establishing shots here. Yeah, let's try to do this quick because are we allowed to be on this old property or Not no? particularly. Great. Here? That's good. So where are the ruins or foundation that we're... Just trying? over there. Like, like over there? Yeah. I guess so. Okay. So is Ferg on his own with this? Yeah, Ferg, you're just going to run through the introduction to the episode. Okay. Once we have that intro, then uh, we'll get you guys set up with your own cameras. We'll get you up into the woods. Okay, cool. You ready? Um, I'm just going to hold you, on a you sec. You the straight delivery? Yeah. Casual, you Be want professional. the television show intro, yeah. do yeah. it with my collar. Yeah. You want this professional. Go All for right. it. You ready? Okay. And action. Every back road and byway that connects... Hold on, let's just start it again. Sorry about that. Just wait, give it a two count after I say action. Right. <clears throat> uh, and action. Every back road and byway that connects the small towns in Ontario seems to have a legend that's whispered in the schoolyard, spoken about around the campfire, or told to young lovers is some cautionary tale. For the residents near the small hamlet of Lakeport, the urban legend that lives and breathes on the lips of its locals is the story of Weird Willie. This old foundation is where the slaughterhouse used to stand. In October 1989, Tony Hancock, his wife Bobby, and their 10-year-old daughter Julie were brutally murdered in that house. And within those walls, the bodies remained unfound for almost two weeks. When they were finally found, the family dogs, starved for food, had fed on them to where the bodies were nearly unrecognizable. Shit. Okay. We can't, I, I'll start okay, right over. Let's pick it up. No, I'll start right from the beginning, if you want. Uh, you yeah, screwed it up. If you want one take, right? Yeah. The only suspect in the case Tony's 19-year-old son, Willie, he vanished after the massacre. Now, the police consider this to be a cold case. The only suspect vanished, left the jurisdiction, was never heard from again. But if you ask the locals in town, they'll tell you Weird Willie never went anywhere. Residents here believe that 
Willie's been living in the massive wooded area behind the house. Almost a thousand acres of property owned by the military. Now, having grown up around here, I can tell you people respect the legend enough to not even go near those woods. Anybody who enters and dares to threaten the sanctity of Willie's home in the forest, they run the risk of having the same thing happen to them. Be brutally murdered just like Willie did to his own family and their meat kept to survive. So tonight, myself, two of my friends, we're going to camp out in that forest, armed with night vision cameras, and we're going to investigate the rural myth of Weird Willie. Try to find evidence that somebody has, or even could, survive in that forest for over 20 years. Get out of my shop, Burns. Good job. That was Good awesome. job. We're professional now. <laughs> so we can sell that. You want to do another couple takes? This only just gets you kind of minutes. walking around. We got to make it look authentic. You guys go with them. Take your camera, Burns. Just do some shots around. Fine. Oh, no what trespassing. Wow. Beware of dogs. Hmm. All of a sudden, as we get another 20 feet into this big <gasps> rot, he comes. And remember, it's not just it is weird willy here, but could someone survive out in the woods for 20 years? Right, so, so it's not just about weird willy, it's the idea of whether he could even be. Yeah. yeah. Whether anyone. I can't. See. Well, we've got enough beer for to survive at least one night anyway. <laughs> <laughs> We're all full of bravado now, wait till the sun goes down. Yeah, that's key. Do your, do your search when the sun goes down. I want night vision shots. Are you gonna help or just stand there? I gotta hold the camera. You notice how when the heavy lifting starts, somebody's gotta hold the camera. Yeah. Might as well be him. Nobody's gotta hold the camera. It's great. Appreciate that. That's why I'm the. That's why I'm the director. Yeah. You guys are the quote-unquote talent. All right, guys. We'll just like take the camera from time to time and like hang it in a tree or something, so you actually get shots of you walking along. It's just a, that looks like a good campsite right there. Yeah, it does. All right. Yeah, that'll do. That's fine. Well, Fairly open clearing. Well, let's. Uh, what are you doing? Are you gonna part ways then? Yeah, I'm gonna go. Does somebody want to come with me? No. Fuck you. All right. Well, I'm gonna go back to the truck. All right. Goodbye. And uh, we'll get our seven footage. o'clock tomorrow. Uh, might be a touch early. We do have beer in that cooler, eh? Well, what time? Nine. Seven o'clock in the morning. We'll just be going to bed. <laughs> Why don't we saw it off at eight o'clock? That's fine. Eight o'clock. All right. Eight o'clock. Right. It should be day. All I that. care is get as much footage as you can. This show. Drunk as you can? Has, no. <laughs> I don't, I don't, don't get so drunk you can't shoot anything. All right. Who's getting up to go to the cooler next? I don't know. Grab two when you do. Yeah, well. From that pizza that we had earlier today. I feel the stomach rumbling anyways. But. How are the bugs, guys? You getting bit? Not at all. Man, I haven't been bit by bugs like this since I got crabs from Mag's sister, Gail. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just chill out for a bit, then we'll get into this footage. And... So that was 1989, that all went down and the family was butchered. So Willie was 19, then? Right? Uh, in his low 40s? Uh, I good. wasn't one much for math, so... Yeah, probably be something around there. I mean, the chances, the likelihood of the guy actually being out here is so slim that I think it's all crap, honestly. What's going to happen, you know. Slimmer than any girl Burns has ever had. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's what I think is going on. He put us out here, the three of us, gave us our cameras. He says that he's going home. But chances are the little prick's going to come back in the night, run around like a little monkey through the woods, try to scare the crap out of us. You cozy now, Pat? Got my mitts on, good to go. That's... <laughs> yeah, glad the boys aren't around. The hockey team would kick your ass and they saw you wearing that. Hey, <laughs> you guys are over there freezing your balls off tonight, I'll be toasty warm in my nice mitts. Yeah, well, I'd rather be cold and look a little more cool, but it's all right. I got this... Daylight, you think. What time is it? I don't know. What time is it? No point in going exploring. Seven? Until it's... Whatever, it doesn't matter. We got all the time in the world. We got all night. We got until what? Eight o'clock tomorrow morning? I'm telling you guys, if you want to join the cool club, you got to get yourself a bit. <laughs> you got it from that uh, guy on TV, that Vince. Yeah. It's a great thing. Oh, I got a lot of Vince. Okay, boys, do I put a little bit of uh, head of steam on that? Okay. So I know what you're thinking. There's like dozens of these shows where they go looking for ghosts and monsters and 
they all have one thing in common. They never find anything. Because guess what? There is no Bigfoot, no Chupacabra, there are no little green men abducting rednecks out of their trailer parks, okay? That stuff is not real. And as for Weird Willie, yes, some 19-year-old kid murdered his family, which is terrible, but the moron's not going to go live in the woods behind his house for another 20 years. So what we're going to do with this show, unlike all these other crap shows, is we're going to give you what you're looking for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dress up as Weird Willie, and I'm going to go scare these guys, and let's see how people react if they actually find something. So every week we're going to have new investigators investigating a new myth, and we're actually going to give them what they're expecting to find, rather just some scary sounds in the dark, the real thing, and let's see how people react when they find out that these myths are real. So check this out. I've got a pair of coveralls I'm going to throw on, and I've got this scary mask, which uh, I got off the internet, and what you'll see here is there's actually a camera attached to the mask, which shoots night vision. So when I put this mask on, I'll be able to record everything I see. So when I'm running after those guys in the dark, I'll actually record how they truly react if in fact they found somebody out in the woods living here like the legend says. Let's see how these guys react when they see Weird Willy walking around. How much food did we bring? Oh, did we ever bring enough? Or, well, or just, is it just chips and crap to eat? Starting to get a bit of a hunger on oh, as well. I know. Oh, did I ever have shit? Oh, oh my oh, god. Why would you bring that back? <laughs> just, don't want somebody stepping in it. Well, I'll I don't just... know what was you guys put in those burritos, but my god. Oh, I seen some <laughs> unidentified oh, oh, fucking the... objects in that pile of stools I left out oh, there that just nobody could identify. You can smell it, man. You can smell the shit oh, on oh, it. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Now, the stupidest part of all this is, uh, I gotta walk around in the dark by myself, man. This is actually kind of creepy. But I think the campsite's close by here. I should, uh... Hey, man. Hey, there's no one up Hey, Jesus! Ah! Anybody know what this is, means on my camera? Oh, no. It probably means that the night vision's on. No, no, it just flicked, but I think we're okay. Okay, good to go. I can't see shit. Oh, there we go. Who's gonna lead here, Pat? I'll lead through, I got the light. Two questions. Yeah, was, it ever, was it ever true at any point, and is it even possible to live off the land? For how many years? You know, and even if the story was true after 1989, all these years later, I can't imagine someone still being around. No. Hear that thumping? Where? Listen. Maybe Weird Willie ate the burritos too. <laughs> <laughs> If we were to actually cover the entire thousand acres, we'd need a month. Oh. Yeah. Ouch. Hold on I mean, a sec. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, stop, stop. A sec here, let me focus. What is that up there? Here, here, here. Hey, we need evidence. What the what? fuck? Looks like a doll. Holy fuck it is. Right, Guys. What? Oh my god, look at this. Look at this right here. Look at this. Oh, you're a dick. You guys are a you're pair a dick. of pussies. Some kid dropped their fucking doll on a four-wheeler. Oh. Come on. Really? Oh. Well, maybe that's all it was. Maybe I'm going to chalk it up as being know, such. Guys. What? Oh. oh, just guys. Look at my camera. Shine your light. What the oh, fuck dude. is that? Dude. Somebody's really sick here. 
full. You think, you think some kid dropped these against yeah, the tree? Yeah, I don't think so. Let me just let me just see if I can focus in on that. That's messed up, guys. Look at that one up there. Oh fuck. Here, let me see if I can get this on tape. This is fucked up. That thing is burnt, man. That one there looks like somebody's been pressing their penis against its face. Oh my god. This thing is like fuck. This thing has got. Now this is getting a little bit uh, fucking lag right there. Check that. Oh out. my god. That wasn't the wind blowing that put that up there. Oh I my. don't think we should go any further. Okay, Tim, the joke's yeah. over. We're idiots. I get it. Dude, there's another one upside down. Where? Right up there. Oh my oh, god. Fire. Oh, look where the nail is too. Are you fucked? What is with that? You guys are just looking down here to see if there's any funky lights going on. Okay, I think at this point, I'm good. Somebody's really fucking sick. Yeah, I don't know about You know what, at the end of the day, as long as the people on at home and the TV see this and believe it, who fucking cares? I believe it's a bunch of horse shit. I don't know, man. Somebody kind of like the idea of going back to yeah, the lawn chairs, guys. That's what I got for evidence. Okay, does anybody recall where our camp was? It wasn't too far off the path. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got a big log on there now, so she should be cooking nice, so. There's nothing worse coming back and not being able to find your own freaking camp. Ooh. Sick here, boys. Listen. We got movement all over. We got movement. Guys, what? I'm oh, hearing something. Fuck. Hold on. Hold on. There's something. Uh, that's just a deer. Come on, let's go. Yeah, the perfect kind of. Uh, that was awful loud and awful close. And there is a fresh. I don't think that's here. So we're gonna focus in on this. I think it's almost time for a pint. What the fuck? Oh, gee. Look at this. What? There's another one. Fuck off. Which one of you guys forgot to fucking take your pit doll to bed with you? Well, it's got to be Burnsy. Uh, well, that definitely was not here when we left, which tells me that. See, that one, the other one out on the trail, looked like it was new. That one looks like. 10 years old and been out here the whole time. Yeah, that one's pretty mangled. You know what? Just get rid of that fucking thing. Oh, my fucking guts are rolling. <laughs> you know what? I think that I think all that cheese on the pizza just bunged me right up. I gotta have a shit. Oh, okay. Listen, I'm going to leave this mitts here, don't you guys fuck with it. Bring okay, if you're going to take shit. a shit this time, go more than two feet behind the tent. Yeah. You think it's going to keep you warm? We'll make sure it does. It's going to keep us warm. It'll make us real warm. There we go. Oh, you're right. You know what? I'm glad you brought that, yeah, Pat. It's a lot warmer. That is a lot warmer now. <laughs> Hey Pat, quit screwing around. Let's just get this done with. Come over, have a beer. Quit screwing around. Come Joke's on. over. You know what? There hasn't been a sound or anything. No. That's... I mean, I told him to go a little further to go to the cam, but I mean, we we'd hear something. We'd hear something, and it's been bloody quiet for a while. I don't know. I think we're at the point where let's let's just go find him. Before he jumps out and finds us? Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather take the proactive approach, so. Alright. I think, dude, we need to, uh. You know what? This is gonna be hard. He, did that, that asshole take the flashlight? Yeah, he's got the flashlight, too. Oh. Yeah. I don't even have a clue where we're going. Me neither. Where's the fire? It's right behind us, so I think we gotta, gotta keep going this way. Yeah, but I think, is there not a tree there? Oh, yeah. I just walked straight into one. Yeah. Oh, son of a bitch. 
If he jumps out right now, he'll probably shit my pants. Is this the trail that we walked down earlier? Wind's picking up, the moon's come out though. Joke's over. Come on, dickhead. Enough is enough. There's mm -hmm. cold beer, a warm fire, and now we're out chasing you around. Yeah. Thanks, man. The more I think about it, the more I think your theory around the fire could be right. I think Tim's behind this. I don't think this has anything to do with a TV show. And I think. You're I'm right, and that pat in on pats in on this. It's amazing, we've walked a long way and he still hasn't pounced out. Nope. Hey Pat, where are you? Hang on. Whoa! What, 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 what the what? fuck? There, there's the light. What light? Our flashlight? Yeah, right Pat, over there. Pat is there. There he is. He's hiding in the bush. Alright. I got him. I got him too. Joke's over, bro! Yeah, I got him. All right, so he's hiding in there. Just we'll get him now. Hey, Pat, come on, man. Let's just go have some beers. Pat. Hey, Ferg, you're getting ahead of me here, and I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, that's his light. Yeah. Oh. Pat. Oh shit. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh my, oh fuck. Burnsy! Burnsy! We gotta get out of here! Burnsy! Oh fuck. How cool is that? So weird Willie is real. Wow. Someone killed those idiots. They never caught the guy? No. Never even found the filmmakers. Just their cameras. When did this happen? Well, the filmmakers have been missing for like three years. You know, their families thought they ditched them and went to Mexico or something. And some loggers found their stuff in the woods last month. The footage is real, right? Well, it's hard to say. I mean, maybe they really did ditch their families and did some elaborate hoax to cover their tracks. It's not going to be our problem anyways. Why? Well, the land is owned by the military, so they're having me box everything up to ship to the feds. Well, that's too bad. I love those paranormal shows. You believe in ghosts? For sure. When people die, there has to be something else. Okay, well, you're gonna like this one. <laughs> a little advice, Michael. If you're trying to seduce a woman, the last thing you want to do is hand her a baby monitor. They had me help out with this one. My job is to make sure the monitor is working properly. Why?
Yes, mother. No. No, I don't want to talk to anyone right now. I just got back from my wife and baby's funeral, so, uh, if you could, please, give me a fucking break, will ya? I'll be right down.
Aiden, I'm Detective Powell. We met at the hospital. Right, I remember. Well, it's good that your memory's coming back. How about your manners? You gonna invite me in? Oh, absolutely, please. Uh, come on in. Out of curiosity, you hard of hearing? You deaf? What do you mean? Been knocking on the goddamn door for over 10 minutes. What's the deal? Uh, it's the, the medication I'm taking. It's uh, pretty strong. It knocks very out. <laughs> Please, come in, Mr. Powell. It's Detective Powell. All right. Are you okay? I buried my wife and baby today, Mr. Powell. Detective, how do you think I'm doing? Mm -hmm. You really want to know what I think? Um, can I ask what this is about, Detective? I gave you a statement down at the hospital. Oh, I was a beauty. Yeah, no, very environmentally friendly you are. You helped save us a lot of paper with that statement. Let's just take a look, yeah. Oh, here it is, yeah. First you gave us Jack. And then, after some additional prodding, yep, here it is. He gave us shit. Well, Detective, I'd be more than happy to sign a medical release form to allow you to speak to my physician. I have an acquired brain injury. The whole last year of my life has drawn a complete blank. Well, you know, as a matter of fact, I did talk to your physician. And uh, he told me that a lot of people have injuries like yours and never have issues with memory. Well, plenty of people do. Some people, it lasts a few days, others a few weeks, some never remember. <clears throat> well, my job is to ask questions. And let me tell you, my friend, I have a lot of questions. When the only person who happens to know how his wife and son ended up at the bottom of the lake, conveniently loses his memory. Conveniently? Are you kidding me? Conveniently? I lost a year of my memory. I don't remember my son being born. Do you have any idea what that's like? Trying to grieve over someone you don't remember. It's an easy way to relieve a guilty conscience. You know, I'm a lawyer. And I don't have to sit here and take this shit from you. First thing tomorrow morning. I'm marching down to your superiors and the media. I'm telling them that you came here at this hour to harass me on the night of a goddamn funeral. You're an insurance lawyer, aren't you? Yes, I am. I've read a number of your files. You seem to specialize in fake accidents for insurance scams. <laughs> Detective, I make over $250,000 a year. Do you really think I would risk my family's lives to stage some fucking accident? Six months ago, you took out an insurance policy for $5 million on your wife and for $2 million on your son. Both of those would double if they died in an accident. Or don't you remember that? That's it. Detective, you can leave. There's the door. Powell, do you copy? Powell here. Forensics just came back on that mother and her baby. Copy that. Can I use your bathroom? Dad's outside. I saw one just around the corner. I'll be back in a moment. Funny thing, huh? I mean, these days we have smartphones, you know, digital sound. The station, they still want us to use these. You know, the thing is, half the time they don't work, and the other half, well, you know, you get all kinds of distortion. 
I'm going to speak with my lawyer tomorrow, detective. And if you want to continue this communication that we've had, I appreciate it if you go through her. I'll be talking to you soon. Through my lawyer. You don't remember me? No, I remember you. You were a maid of honor at our wedding. I... You don't remember us? Us. Oh my god. You really don't remember. Wait a second. How, how did you get in my house? You gave me a key months ago. Look, you do know that I have police watching this place and if they see you, they're gonna start asking me questions I don't know the answers to, right? You know that! I snuck in through the back. No one saw me. Oh my god. You know, I, I, I really can't deal with this right now. You can't deal with this? Do you have any idea how hard this has been for me? Seeing you in pain, not being able to hold you? I couldn't even touch your hand when you're in that hospital bed. You must feel that. Look, Brianna. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't say that. You remember what we had. No, please. All right? Can you just give me some time to think this out? I can't wait another second. Mm. Mm.
You know, one of the many great things about your little memory problem is I get to teach you what I like all over again. The fuck? starting to scare me. No. Someone was in the door. They were standing there watching us. No one's here. You better pull yourself together if we're gonna get through this. You're imagining things. Maybe you need stronger medication. No! All night I've been hearing cries from this fucking baby monitor. But look, it's not even plugged in. Maybe if your wife didn't cheap out on that piece of crap, we wouldn't be having this problem. What? My cheap-ass sister bought one just like that, and the damn thing picked up signals from other monitors. You probably heard some brat two streets over. Oh my god. Oh my god. I never even thought of that. Yeah, and the shadow on the room is probably that giant tree in your front yard next to the street light. I thought my brain was scrambled from the accident. If only I could remember. You're better off forgetting. Forgetting what? Nothing. Just keep telling the police that you can't remember anything and leave it alone. What did I do? You killed them. You've been planning this for months, even before the baby was born. You would take Wicklow Beach Road, and instead of turning, you'd go straight towards the lake, and you'd have just enough time to jump. No. Uh, no. That's impossible. My wife would wake up. She gets motion sickness, and the pills that she takes knocks her out. A freight train couldn't have woken her up while she was napping. No, I wouldn't kill my own baby. It wasn't even yours. She wanted you to think that it was, so that she could keep her hooks in you, when you left her for me. No. I couldn't do that. You're lying. Don't worry. We'll have a baby one day. It'll be our baby. That bitch can't control you anymore. How could you stand and be with me? Because you did it for us, so that we could be together without her and all her lies.
cool is that? Was it broken? Everything appeared fine to me. So what happened to the guy? Did he even remember what happened to him? Well, he must have, because he confessed. I was closing the file yesterday to take back to storage when the jail called. What about? Well, apparently everything was fine until they moved him next to a cell with the inmate with the radio. And then all night the radio's making weird sounds and the next morning they found John dead. Hanged in his cell. Okay, uh, we really need to go. This whole half of the building is completely dead. Well, in an hour and a half, there's going to be a dozen cops outside that door. That's more than enough time. It, it is? Yeah. You told me there was one more file with a video of a murder, and I really need to see that before we go. Well, if, I, uh, if I show you that, you're going to be falling in love with me, and then that's going to be a problem because we're not supposed to date people we work with, so... I don't think I'm working here much longer. Okay, well, it's still under investigation here, but, uh, I think I got it figured out. Hey, they found a man's body inside an old abandoned house, right? And they find a murder weapon and a video camera with the tape still inside. Is it fake? Oh, no. No, this one is definitely real. Do they have a suspect? You mean person of interest? No. But I think I can identify the unsub. And what? The unidentified subject? See, I was going through this case last night, and I found something the cops missed. Really? Yeah. I may not be able to run half a kilometer or crawl through some stupid obstacle course, but I know technology. And the cops here are clueless. What did you find? I see, it's shot in night vision. And if I adjust the picture right, I can use the night vision to see through the clothes. Anyway, if you uh, adjust the contrast here, like so, you are able to see right through the glove. See that butterfly tattoo? Yeah, these idiots never would have found that. When it comes to detective work, it's all about brains, not brawn. So what did they say when you showed them? <sighs> well, I haven't yet. I'm going to try to use it as leverage, see if they'll, you know... Give me a real detective job. How cool is that? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We really have to go. So, uh, if we exit this door here, to the left, go up the stairs there, and no one will ever know we were here. Oh, okay, no, not cool. Put that down. You're gonna, you're getting your fingerprints all over it. It's contaminating evidence. They're already on there. Um... Okay, you got bleach, right? Okay, we'll take the bleach, we'll wipe it off. Uh, Detective work isn't just about brains or brawn, Michael. It's also about instinct. Something you clearly lack. <laughs> <laughs>